precedents had already been set that once a senior government official has been linked to acts of criminality, he or she is either sent on suspension or fired pending investigations. This can be traced from moves taken by not only former presidents, but the current president Edgar Lungo as well, dismissing then Community Development Minister Emerin Kamanshi of allegations of embezzlement of social cash transfer funds, along with several other technocrats that have remained suspended or recommended for dismissal. During the Public Accounts Committee sittings, it was further heard that several accountants in various ministries cited in the 2017 audit report had been dismissed or recommended for dismissal or sent on suspension while law enforcers were investigating their cases. Infrastructure and Housing Minister Ronald Chitotela seems to be immune to either suspension or dismissal as President Edgar Lungu sees his innocence beyond his possible conviction. Suspect. In the eyes of the law enforcement agencies, he can be arrested. And I'm sure they can arrest the honorable person. So what has that got to do with you? He's a stick. And in their wisdom, they chose to arrest him. So what should I do? But we are fighting corruption. It is corrupt, corrupt. So they have to prove in court of law. And I hope they give him a chance to prove himself. It is corrupt, it is corrupt. But you see, what I don't want to do is to while referring himself to his own decision to fire then information minister Chimba Kamwili on mere allegations of corruption which had not resulted into an arrest, President Lungu sees a case of a suspect already arrested more the same as that of a suspect whose case had not reached the point of arrest. As far as I'm concerned, even Shimbakam is innocent. But look at where Shimbakam is. The one who is fighting with Shimbakam, Lungu is. I am not a fortune Shimbakam. What I heard was a report from the law enforcement judges that Shimba has done one, two, three wrongs. We're investigating him. But many others, I said, go ahead. And they went ahead. At a certain point, they came and said, we can't get anything. No cooperation from him. And I said, what do I do? In my wisdom, I removed him from office. Having removed him from office, the rest is history. This justification is so disappointing to the Transparency International Zambia, who fears the President Lungu's cold approach to Shitotela's case has hidden facts. TIZ Executive Director Wesley Chibamba says the move fires great suspicion of other ministers and state house officials being linked to other cases Chitotela is being probed. Mr. Chibamba says this is a demonstration that the president does not mind having corrupt elements in his government. Chitotela is one of the first ministers in Zambia's history to continue enjoying taxpayers' money while carrying a criminal case of concealing property suspected of being proceeds of crime. He will probably be seeking leave from duty to attend to court cases once his case is cause listed before the Lusaka Magistrate Court. Mwak Pekumwenda, Prime TV News, Lusaka.